In an era of, generally speaking, generic trap beats and mumble rappers, I find it important to remember and appreciate what many would argue was the golden era of the genre of hip hop. Especially perhaps if you are someone who stumbled upon this channel because of older music and maybe never developed a taste for or an interest in the hip hop genre. Especially considering the overall state it's in today. So in this video we are going to listen to and review one of the best songs by one of the most iconic rappers, Changes by Two Tupac Shakur. Hang tight. Hey everybody, my name is Francis and welcome to Music Kingdom. If you'd like to support myself and the work I put into these videos, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support the channel further, you'll find Music Kingdom's Patreon and other affiliate links in the description below. Now before we listen, let's briefly talk changes. Tupac originally recorded the song in 1992 and then it was ultimately remixed and posthumously released in 1998. The song has added vocals and ad-libs by the group Talent and heavily samples the piano melody and chorus from Bruce Hornsby in the range's 1986 the way it is. Barring the sampled chorus, the verses were brilliantly penned by Tupac himself and Dion Evans. Now many would argue that Tupac was already a living legend before his murder, but I would also argue that a song like this, posthumously released, would have an additional effect of enhancing his legend, of making him a man of the people, a prophet, further immortalizing him as the icon we know today. Be sure to stick around after the song for a musical breakdown by our expert, and then we'll grade the song in various categories, giving it an overall score. Just the way it is. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Some things will never change. Initial thoughts. We need more music like this. And I acknowledge that socially conscious rap is a thing, in part thanks to songs like this. However, a lot of it is just fuck the government, the system, corruption, which is good and important. And music is a powerful tool to expose such things and shed light on such topics. However, in my opinion, what's missing, especially nowadays, are songs that have compassion, songs that are unifying, songs that are hopeful. While it is important to address social issues, that can also be divisive as opposed to loving. Yes, this song does have a lot of fuck the system, fuck the government, addressing social issues, which is very important and I admire that about Tupac. There's also a loving energy in this song, whether he's saying it takes skill to be real, time to heal each other, or you're my brother, you're my sister. That could very easily be cringe, be corny, be saccharine, be I really, but I give major kudos to Tupac for doing it in a way that makes it cool, that makes people want to be that way. Now, without further ado, let's jump to the expert's corner for a musical breakdown, and then we'll grade the song in various categories, arriving at a song score. Welcome to the expert's corner. I'm John Paul, and this is Changes by Tupac, featuring talent. The musical hook for this song was pulled from Bruce Hornsby's The Way It Is, which I'm sure Francis already told you, but that song and this song are in the key of G major. <laughs> Now, even though it's a sample, I still want to take you through it and show you what's happening in these iconic chord progressions. There are two main hooks in this. The first one starts on A minor, goes to E minor, goes to D major, goes to C sus2, then G major, D major, and C again, with a 2 in there. The second one is my favorite. It's a G add 9, then it goes to F major 9, that's my favorite chord. I think that chord is partly partly responsible for the amazing vibe in this song. Then C sus2. I think this is a beautifully crafted track, from the excellent choice in sampling to the A-plus quality 90s groove to Tupac's incredibly meaningful lyrics. Now the only beef I have with this song, and this might be a really unpopular opinion, is the singing. This group, Talent, who I can't find a shred of anything on the internet about them. They kind of sound to me like they want to be 90s R&B legends and they're just not on that tier vocally. Just my opinion. I don't like their voices. Obviously they're good enough to be on the track. They're, they're fine. I just, I personally don't like them. I don't think they sound good. At some parts it even sounds like they're trying and failing to sound like Michael Jackson. Also, I don't like their name, but that's neither here nor there. All that aside, excellent iconic track and I give it a seven. Back to you, Francis. A very special thank you to our musical expert for providing his input and giving the song a very respectable 7 out of 10. Which is only one of our six categories, meaning there are five left, so let's get started with composition, which I'm going to give a 6. As an overall musical composition, it is fairly average, which I'd be inclined to give a 5. However, even though it was sampled, Bruce Hornsby and the Ranges, the way it is from 1986, gives the song a beautiful melody, which falls under the composition category, so for that I'm giving it an extra point. Up next, I'm giving the production a 7 out of 10. While the production is very simple, I do appreciate the seamless, beautiful way they blended the added vocals by the group Talent with the very seamless, in my opinion, sample of Bruce Hornsby and the Ranges the way it is. Throw in an albeit basic hip-hop beat, tie it all together, and it is a very respectable production, well-deserving, in my opinion, of a 7. Moving on to lyrics, I'm giving them a very strong 8.5 out of 10. I do think this is some of the best work Tupac ever created. I appreciate the social consciousness of the lyrics combined with the element I mentioned earlier in this video of wholesomeness and compassion. Balanced and grounded in my opinion by the sampled chorus repeating that's just the way it is, adding a sort of resignation to the mood as well, combining it all for a beautiful lyrical delivery. Up next in our categories would usually be vocals, but because this is of the hip hop and rap genre, we are instead grading the flow and delivery of the lyrics. In my opinion, this is one of the best and smoothest flows of Tupac's entire career. However, I would reserve nines and tens to be for that god tier level of spitting fire that might be Immortal Technique, Eminem, J. Cole, so on and so forth. Our final category is originality and or inspiration, which I'm giving a very rare nine out of 10. In my opinion, this song is the very definition of inspired, and I believe it does a great job conveying the emotions of anger, dejection, and hope 
all in one. In addition to that, it is perhaps a less corny or saccharine version of a heal the world, we are the world, perhaps maybe a bit more of they don't care about us, making what could be a very kumbaya, let's hold hands and love each other kind of mood into something that is more street, that makes it seem cool, to embrace the concept of loving each other. Not just stopping at recognizing the issues of the world, but also taking steps towards making it a better place and making that change. Add it all up, throw in the expert score and average it out. Changes by Tupac Shakur gets a very respectable 7.6 out of 10. As mentioned, this is the type of song that in my opinion, the world needs more of. And in case you weren't familiar with the song for whatever reason, I hope it is a great example of how powerful the genre of hip hop can be. Share your thoughts with me and everyone else in the comments below. And once again, if you'd like to support myself and the work I put into these videos, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support the channel further, you'll find Music Kingdom's Patreon and other affiliate links in the description below. This has been another edition of Music Kingdom. Thank you so much for listening with me and I'll look forward to jamming with you in the next one.